Hello guys, it's Darren Sharon here on Sharon Valley Farms and I have bought myself a new charger. I had an old one, it was a small one and I backed over it and kind of crushed it and, and I thought, you know what, I might as well go and spend the money and get a real good one for my shop and for my vehicles. So. I forked out the money and I went and got the best one they had at Canadian Tire on the shelf. I'm not too sure if online they have a better one, but this one here is the Eliminator, Motor Master Eliminator Workshop Series Battery Charger. It does 250 amp, that's an engine start, 50 amp to 15 amp boost charge. 6 amp charge and uh, I guess this is going to be an opening box I'm not too sure if my car will start today but if it doesn't I'll put that in the video it is cold here uh, I am in Manitoba, Canada sort of in the uh, north south part of Manitoba and overnight it was uh, about minus 35. Right now it's about minus 21. So I, I'm pretty sure the car will probably start. I have the truck plugged in though, so I know that that will start. The tractor, not too sure, but I'm pretty sure it will start too. So let's take a look at the box. So on the box here, I'm just going to bring you forward, it has a digital display, battery diagnostic, continuously monitors battery voltage to detect potential battery defects, alternator tester, that's a good thing to have, checks voltage output of the vehicle's alternator, that'll tell you if your alternator is working or not, that's got a six foot 1.8 meter power and output cables, heavy duty clamps. They are heavy duty. There was one that was uh, looked the same as this one and the clamps are plastic and they are half the size and there's just a little bit of metal showing on them. Uh, not very good at all. Built in safety, multiple safety precautions, including reverse polarity, polarity short circuit, overheat, and more. Rugged design, it looks rugged. We'll take a look at that later. And easy to store, it's definitely easy to store. All right, so on the other side here, it says advanced five stage charging. And it goes into includes desulfation and soft start to revive and condition deeply charged batteries. 250 amp engine start, 50 to 15 amp boost charge, and that's what we went over on the, on the left there. And then finally, six volt to 12 volt auto detection. So it automatically detects if it's a six volt or a 12 volt battery, which is a good thing. And push start charging manually starts charging for use on batteries as low as zero volts all right guys so let's take a look at what it looks like i'll open up the box i'll put it on here i'll plug it in and we'll take a look at what it looks like we'll look at the, the screen here and just take a quick look at that and then another video in the future i will show you using the battery charger but this for this video we're just going to do an open box video so let's take a look at what's inside and see how it works Actually, I'm going to open up the back of it. 
first thing that came out was the instruction manual, which is good because I'm definitely going to read that. Okay, so this is the top. Table of contents, or table not of contents, but the table of charge. So this shows you everything it charges. So if you're maintaining, it'll do even your solar battery bank. Um, here, uh, charging charge, uh, 140, 160, and on. It doesn't shows doesn't show it checked off, but um, I'm sure this is a a great unit. I bought it for my truck, my tractor, and my car, and my other truck. I so have two trucks. One for the for the bees, and one for one for drive to work in the winter. And the car is for the summer. So, the first thing looking at this, these are heavy duty. That is awesome. That's what I look for when I want to buy something. I want to make sure I'm getting something really good. And these are heavy duty. I like these. It has a, oh, I see. You know, I had, I the, the, the cheaper one of this has these uh, pins in here. And of course, you're supposed to squeeze them once you get it up to where it's supposed to be. What it's supposed to do. But now when you want to close it, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> you know? Well, not too bad, actually. Maybe I was doing something wrong the other day, but it is a pain. You got to get really in there with your fingers. To get those, to get those uh, ball bearings down. So, yeah, it's okay. So that's a nice. Actually, yeah, and the grip here is really nice and, and, and sturdy. It's good. Probably better than the other one. The other one's just metal. All right. So let's take a look at. I'm gonna plug it in and. These it should start. I'm not going to do anything with it. Certainly not going to do anything with it. Uh, this is just an unboxing, like I said. I want to read the manual and everything before I even start doing anything with it. So, grab my trusty old card here. All right. And there we go. You can hear it hum. So, let me. Now, this is the first stand up unit I've ever owned. And so, I certainly don't know what I am doing um when it comes to this i do have to read the manual but just for video purposes i wanted to show you that this is indeed a nice unit so we have some some uh functions so charge rate we can do six amp 50 to 15 amp or 250 
amp, and that is, oh, that's engine start, so we would click this button, which says there's nothing connected to it. So there is no battery connected to it. It's not going to do that. I kind of figured that. So I'll put it back to 6 amp. So battery type. So we have AGM, we have gel, and we have normal, which is your normal acid battery, which is what I have. All right. And then over here, it says display. And so this is the, your volts. This is your battery percentage, so what your battery is currently, what, the, what it has for a charge. And then for your alternator, it's in the middle, which it doesn't show right now. I reckon that you have to have the car uh, started for that function to work there. So, overall, I think it's a great unit. It's going to come in handy. Up there, especially for the cold winters that we have here in the winter, and if I have a problem in the future in the spring, summer months, and fall with my vehicle, I'll be able to start my vehicle. So, that is my main purpose for buying or for purchasing this unit, and it's going to come in really handy on the homestead, not just for my car or my truck or my my beekeeping truck, but also for the tractor and for neighbors that are that are going to need a helping hand as well because around here we everybody helps each other. So, so anyways, guys, um, I'll just show you the back. So this, they have these little um, pieces that come out with these little grooves in them, and then you can just put it on there in between the grooves and that keeps the current away from accidentally arcing you've got this is plastic so it's good so i would say this is a good good purchase um i am looking forward to testing it out and i will do a video on that i promise um but uh for now thank you guys for tuning in to my channel uh, if you haven't subscribed feel free to subscribe Give your thumbs up or thumbs down and comment below. I'm interested to hear your comments on here um, as this is something new to me. And if you have used a, a battery charger like this before and you have some tips for me, I would really appreciate your feedback because this is, again, the first time I've ever bought a big uh, unit like this. And it's going to take me a while to look into reading the manual and learning. So if I could learn from you, that is fantastic. And if you could direct me to other channels that have this unit or a unit that is like this unit, let me know and then I can get myself educated from there as well. So thank you guys once again for tuning in and we will see you in the next video. From my home to yours, thanks for watching.